Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me once again today, and we are back in Fantasy General. I will go back to Total War Warhammer 2 uh, momentarily, or, you know, within the next couple of days, but I like Fantasy General, so we're going to keep going with it for a little while. Uh, last time when we ended, we'd taken a look at the rewards screen. We're researching werebears, which is a pretty terrifying prospect, to be honest. Uh, we did just get some new units, so let's take a look at them. So, as you can see, my uh, my beast creatures cannot upgrade. My human, my mortal units can. So this is the big advantage of mortal units. Their stats overall are lower, but they can upgrade. And as you can see, these swordsmen are actually better than my lizardmen are. So the, the advantage of this is this unit, whatever experience it had gained, I don't think it's gained hardly any experience, carries over when it upgrades. So I can upgrade that unit. That improves the power of my army without taking any more unit slots and without uh, losing any experience that I had accumulated. So as you can see, I can now buy swordsmen or I can buy barbarians. And barbarians are better, but once again, they will not be able to upgrade in the future. However, they are faster, so having a couple of barbarians is overall a good idea. They cost 25 gold. I have 186, so I am going to buy another barbarian. Cavalry-wise... I now have access to centaurs, which are a very good cavalry unit. Um, and also, yeah, they're the same speed as squires. I'm not going to bother buying squires. If I upgrade my cavalry again, I may get some. But I am going to... Um, these fire beetles have upgraded, so I'm going to keep them. So of those, these ones have not. I'm going to disband this third unit of fire beetles. And I'm going to hire uh, a two centaurs, I think. Then, so my infantry contingent right now is two barbarians, two lizardmen, and one swordsman. Uh, light infantry-wise, I do have access to militia, but honestly, they're only as fast as my barbarians are anyway, and my barbarians are much better overall, so I'm not going to bother hiring any light infantry. I am going to upgrade my slingers uh, to staff slingers, which have a much better skirmish attack. So that's just a straight upgrade. Costs me a little bit of money, but I have the money available. Archer-wise, I only have one archer. Uh, I'm going to buy another longbowman. Then sky hunters. Uh, the flying snakes are good. I would like to buy either another flying snake. I don't have quite enough money for an eagle rider at this point, but honestly, it's a relatively small upgrade, um, especially because especially considering that the Flying Snakes actually have more armor. Now, the Eagle Riders are probably worth it because they have three more attack, which is pretty substantial, but I'm going to buy another Flying Snake. That leaves me with 24 gold, which I could spend on an Apprentice, or I could spend on upgrading this Apprentice to a Conjurer. The Conjurer, instead of the Banshee spell, so Summon Banshee scares an enemy unit and makes it move. A Death Wounds... I cast on a friendly unit nearby, and it means that all casualties that friendly unit inflicts in the next round will be deaths, which means that the enemy unit that they attack cannot recover from whatever damage they do this turn, which is a pretty good ability. That said, Conjurers overall are kind of difficult to use. They're, they're not fast. They're fragile because they only have 10 health, 10 life. Um, so spellcasters in general are a little bit complex to use. Uh, and looking at my infantry contingent, I feel like I might want another unit of infantry instead. So I think I'm going to buy a second swordsman. I can't. I have hit my unit cap. So, so I've got two archers, two slingers, a total of five infantry, chandel, Four cavalry. I think I probably have too much cavalry, but I don't want to get rid of my fire beetles at this point. They've served me so well. So instead, we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead to the Vale of Sorrow. Aelcar the Shadow Wizard marched a large contingent of his forces through the pass at Broken Fang and is threatening to overrun our positions in the north. Mechanical units are also being sent north from the Carovian Peninsula. Aelcar's forces must be stopped before they reach Ellerbrook, where they would be able to attack us at will. Equally important is capturing the Tower of Tombs, which guards Broken Fang Pass, as well as key villages in the south. Once this is achieved, you will have defensible positions. 
from which you can strike deep into the continent. If accomplished swiftly, Alecar will not have time to transfer the Mechmaster Ferris out of the Kerovian Peninsula in the south, giving you an opportunity to deny Alecar his mechanical troops. So, if I win this scenario quickly, I'll be able to attack the Kerovian Peninsula and capture the Mechmaster Ferris. So I've summoned Elf Chariots and Pegasi. Uh, Map-wise, this map is pretty wide. I have a very wide deployment zone. I am pushing south towards Leavesley, and over here towards the Tower of Tombs and the Temple of Handola. There's Wattleford. There's some more towns over here and a shrine. So I think what I want to do is I need to send a significant force straight down south to capture Leavesley, and then I need to send another force to flank in this direction. This is quite a big map, so this is going to be a big, long scenario. We're going to put Shandell right here on the town. Uh, we're going to put some barbarians and some swordsmen over there, some barbarians and some lizardmen over there. Uh, staff slingers, we'll get staff slingers supporting both sides, longbowmen supporting both sides. We have our centaurs in the center to form a cavalry force. Got some elf chariots. I've never used elf chariots before. Fire beetles uh, over there. Got the pegasi, the flying snakes, more flying snakes. Got our apprentices in the back. Okay, so we've got a pretty wide deployment overall. We have 16 turns. Uh, let's see what we can do. I am going to move my staff slingers forward to here. Can they see any enemy units? Nope, not yet. Okay, let's get our barbarians all the way across the river. Um, let's look at these elf chariots, actually. So they have 13 melee, 13 armor, and movement 5, which is not bad. Oh yeah, 12, 12, movement 5. Yeah, they're slightly better than the leveled up fire beetles, and they have magical attacks. They're a little bit worse than centaurs, but they're not, they're not bad overall. Um, I'm going to send them kind of down here on a scouting run. Uh, and scout they have, so we've found, we've got some skeletons, which are melee 14, armor 12, pretty tough. We've got some goblin archers, which have a very high missile attack. Yeah, these guys are kind of leveled up, so those skeletons are 12, 10, these ones are 14, 12. Uh, hmm, over here, I've got some goblin archers and a screamer, a mech flying unit. Uh, which is... A rocket. It's it's literally a rocket. It is vulnerable to magic, and it's a single entity, so magical attacks do a lot of damage to that. And I have the seventh undead cavalry. Okay, so let me get my flying snakes. Um, what's the screamer's movement range? It has movement of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't advance too far. Uh, without having something in support. Well, what I'll do is I'll bring him up there. Then I'll get the Pegasi. How good are they? They're quite good, and they have magical attacks. So I'll get the Pegasi up here. And we're going to bring our Lizardmen forward, and some archers in support. The Apprentices will move down this way. The Centaurs, I kind of want to get the first strike on these Skeletons. So the Centaurs are going to charge in. We did get some defensive fire, but we inflicted a lot more casualties than we took. Unfortunately, there are two Undead Cavalry here as well. So we're going to charge the centaurs down again, try to finish off those skeletons. Didn't quite manage it. Um, let's get the barbarians down to support. We have a, what is that? A bronze man. Another mechanical monstrosity. Vulnerable to magic once again. Does have 12 melee and 18 armor. Wow. It is tough. Let's get the flying snakes down there to try to threaten the archers. Um, Shandell. I need Shandell to move forward and use that spell. I need to use it on the cavalry. But the cavalry resisted. Curses. And let's get our fire beetles down here to guard those units. And finally, the Lizardmen down here to join our infantry blob. So the cavalry are going to kind of get savaged here because they're going to get attacked by all these units, at least these four. The Bronze Man might stay there to defend. Um, I also have some Skeleton Slingers. So we've got some Skeletal Skirmishers with 11 Skirmish Attack. 
Cavalry is going to take a lot of damage. Hopefully it'll mostly be wounded and they'll be forced to retreat. And uh, then I'll be able to counterattack with my heavy infantry here. Uh, no. That was the wrong button. Okay, so Aelcar the Shadow Wizard gets to cast a spell every turn. In this case, he cast Whirlwind. Um, that Screamer did a ton of damage to my Pegasi. Fortunately, they are a summoned unit. The cavalry are attacking my chariots uh, and my other cavalry. So the centaurs are getting crapped on, but that's okay. He's kind of broken up his own formation here. So we're going to move these guys forward, get a spell cast on the undead cavalry, and get the heavy infantry to destroy them. Move the swordsman up. Get an attack on the undead cavalry. Let's cast your spell on, yeah, on him. You resist it again, which is too bad. Let's get the slingers up to do some slinging. They're disordered now, so they're not in as good a shape as they were. You rest, because you need to heal. You get down here and attack those archers. That's what we wanted. You rest to heal. Um, now I can kind of swing these cavalry in, but I don't really want to at the moment. What I want is for him to come down here and probably finish off the archers or do damage to the cavalry. I want to do damage to the cavalry. Okay, good. They've taken five casualties and they're broken. So now the fire beetles can come in to finish them off and can charge down here to do some damage to the third skeletons. Okay, good. Now you swing over here, finish off those archers. Excellent. On that side, everything's pretty much under control. These flying snakes um, should be able to attack the screamers. Yes. Okay, good. Disordered. Let's get the archers down here to shoot at the screamers, blow them up. My staff slingers can move around this way to sling at the skeletons. My barbarians can initiate combat against those undead cavalry to drive them off. These pegasi can rest. Since they are in an enemy zone of control, it doesn't help them all that much, but it does help them some. And my lizard men can swing over this way to do some damage to those skeletons, because I don't want them attacking my archers at full health. Uh, I think that's all of my units. So there, we've repelled the enemy attack done pretty well. Uh, he's going to keep casting that whirlwind spell to do damage to my flying units. There, they've killed those pegasi I summoned, but they were just summons, so that's okay. Uh, over here, I've completely broken the enemy line, it looks like, except for these bronze men. So let's get some ranged fire on them. Do a little bit of damage. Uh, I... no. No, 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 no. Abort that move. Um, my heroine should come over here and attack. Yeah, that's the way. And then we can kill the bronze man. Okay, so we got some centaurs from that little shrine. Uh, over here we can attack these skirmishers. Get them a little disordered. Get some heavy infantry in to break them. And then move the centaurs in to destroy them. These centaurs then can rush downwards a little ways. Not to the edge of their movement, but just a little ways. Okay, more bronze men there. You rest, heal up a little bit. Get the swordsman moving forward. You rest and heal up. You elf chariots, you are actually at... Are you at full health? I thought you took a lot of damage. Well, uh, I must have rested them and forgotten about it. So the elf chariots can move down to lead the charge. We got our, our apprentices down there. Everything's going swimmingly on that side. You rest to get your health back. You move over there. Shoot down those screamers, please. You're going to do some damage to them. You are going to kill them and occupy the shrine. Okay, you discover the desecrated tomb of Wakian, a hero killed in the Shadow Lord's War of Conquest. Among the shattered stones and in hidden niches, you find some treasure. Some is spent on research. That's pretty cool. I like that. So, uh, interesting note. You can actually recruit units, I believe, in battle. Uh, cast character spell. Oh, that's right, I have character spells as well. Uh, the strategic map, this tells me where I'm going, what my objectives are. I have those three objectives, 
That shows me what I can see. That's the town that I have to hold. Character spells. So I have Heal Beasts and Plague. I need to turn off the turn the tactical map back on. So actually healing beasts would be a pretty good idea right about now, I think. Because I do have some injured beasts. Um the second lizard man. Well they only have one dead. Uh I've never actually used heal beasts before, because I've never Oh! It heals all beasts. It looks like it heals all wounded in all of my beast units. That is pretty sweet. That's an amazing spell. Guess I can only cast it once, though. Okay, so... I think I am done. Yep, he's going to keep casting Whirlwind on me and attacking my flying units. Uh, my centaurs are taking some casualties there, which is unfortunate. Cavalry don't do the best when they are defending a city. Uh, up here, I need to get my archers to take those guys out. Okay, the screamers are dead. Good. You rest. You come down here and attack the skeletons. Good. You rest. You guys. I want you to kind of charge across, but I'm not sure that's a good idea. Um, let's bring you down. Let's bring you down. I'm making a full court press because I want to get to this town. I want to get to the objective towns quickly because I want to, uh, I want to get the extra bonus objective. You guys, you down here. You. Yeah, let's launch a charge on them just to do some damage. You get down here and attack those bronze men. Didn't go terribly well, but that's okay. You're not a terribly valuable unit. Uh, these flyers can't quite reach them. Can reach them, the cavalry. Okay, so they did some good, good damage to those cavalry. We'll move them down, get some shots on the cavalry. The barbarians, meanwhile, uh, can actually hopefully take that. Hmm, they did not. That didn't go well, and now they're out of position. All because of a unit I didn't see, alas. Let's get the chariots down, do some more damage to these bronze men. Wow, they took a ton of damage there. I'm not sure if there's some kind of modifier that I'm not aware of for chariots. It's possible. There are things I'm not aware of about this game. Um, but over here, we're in a good position. These barbarians are out of position, but they're still at almost full strength, so they should be able to weather the attacks and pull back. Hopefully. Uh, my cavalry here can cross the river, get some damage on the skeletons. Weaken them up. Lizardmen can swing down in that direction. Let's see how this goes. Okay, the bronze men are taking some damage. Ooh, he cast fireball on my fire beetles. Okay, yep, the barbarians are doing all right. Got 12 turns left. Can we skirmish him to death, please? No? Okay, fine. Can you attack him? Yes. Now you take the town. You need to rest and recuperate. Let's get the archers over here to shoot at him, and then the cavalry to finish him off. Um, interesting fun fact. The experience in this game is not related to how much damage you inflict. It's actually related to how much damage you sustain. Uh, a unit gets experience based on how many casualties they take and how much damage is inflicted on them, as opposed to how much damage they inflict on the enemy, which is kind of weird, but, um, I mean, I guess makes a kind of sense. He's on a river. Why is he not dying? Oh my goodness. He's disordered, but he's not dying, and he's now really, really experienced because we have hurt him so much. Okay, there we go. It took a skirmisher unit to finally finish him off. Get him down here. These barbarians can attack those archers once again. That time they did a lot of damage. And now we've taken the city. Uh, do I have any more units left over this way? Nope. Nope, but I need to... I only have a few more turns I need to push down here pretty rapidly. Because remember, I have to finish this extra quickly. Okay, he cast weakness on the centaurs, and ouch. That's painful. Get my skirmishers down here, inflict some damage, 
bash their heads. Good. Cross the river. Centaurs, rest. You need it. You guys push down that way. Archers. I am a little bit scattered because I'm trying to move fast, and that means that my units are uh, kind of spreading out. So, recruiting is how you replenish dead troops. So I can recruit right now. Now they're up to 15, but you can see they lost a pip of experience. Uh, so, now that said, recruiting in order to fill vacancies left by the dead is a good idea in the middle of the battle. Because... Uh, if you don't do it, then your units, since your units gain experience based partially on the number of members in the unit, if you don't recruit back up to full health, your units will effectively be receiving less experience for the rest of the battle. So if you want to fight optimally, it's best to always recruit back up to full basically as soon as you have a breather. I'm going to drop in on those cavalry, do a little bit of damage to them. And I'm ignoring this unit because I'm not sure that I need the dead stones, they're not an objective, and if that unit is willing to leave me alone, then I am willing to leave it alone, especially when I have, oh boy, 14 skirmish attack, wow, that is painful. Um, yeah, especially when I, I kind of have bigger fish to fry at the moment. Yep, he's going to drop a whirlwind on me and do a ton of damage. Yep, and the, the scouts are coming in. So with a skirmish attack that high, the scouts are going to be a pain to deal with. Um, since skirmish attacks get off, get to... No, don't do that. Recruit. Since skirmish attacks get off before um, melee attacks do. But... We're going to do some damage there, try to get rid of them as quickly as we can. Uh, yeah, send the chariots up there. I, I feel like chariots should be able to ride over scouts pretty effectively. Maybe, uh, okay, maybe not. Okay, they're basically ineffective at this point. With only two members, they, they just can't accomplish much. You. Try to lay a beating on that cavalry. We got some defensive fire, unfortunately. Did do more damage than we received. Uh, you rest. These lizard men, I think, need to cross here and flank these guys. More defensive fire. Wow, I took a lot of wounded doing that. Uh, the RNG in this game is cruel sometimes. Sometimes you'll just take a lot of damage, and it doesn't really matter what you're doing. Okay, I've been ambushed by ogres. Unfortunately, for situations like this, moving quickly in this game is basically contra contraindicated because of uh, that phenomenon right there, where if you move quickly, you can be ambushed by units that you can't see, and units that are ambushing you, I believe, do extra damage. So it's all very, very unfortunate. All right, that's the turn. I'm trying, as long as I don't actually lose any units that aren't uh, volunteers, I'll be all right. But with those ogres, man, I want I want some ranged fire on those ogres as quick as I can get it. Down there, can you cast charm on him? Okay. No targets. Fine. Uh, let's get some damage in with the cavalry. You just run away. Now let's bring in the Barbarians to lay some real hurt down, and the Cavalry can finish the Ogres off. Hopefully next turn I'll be able to take out the Bronze Men. I hope. Uh, you need to move down here. A little bit late to the party. Uh, chariot. Launch an attack. That was good damage. Uh, I don't like the fact that they're over here now, so please stop them. Thank you. You... Come in this direction. You heal up. You heal up. You definitely heal up. You uh, not really worth healing up. Instead, attack those skeletons. Render them ineffective. You. Okay, so those seventh undead cavalry have healed entirely to full. I need to bring the archers down. I need to keep the pressure on those. So I'm going to attack those goblin archers. Now I'm going to move into the city and attack the Goblin Archers, just to drive them off, inflict some damage. 
They've got two dead, so they won't be back up to full strength next turn. Uh, I think that's all that I can do this turn. I need to take that. I have to take that before the scenario ends, or I lose. I've got that one. I'm going to get this one in a turn or two, but I have to take... Um, I have to take the Tower of Tombs. So let's uh, let's see if we can manage it. I'm only about halfway through. So we cast Fear. The Centaur is resisted, which is good. Um, I don't have any character. I can't cast any character spells at the moment. So let's get some skirmish fire in. Cross the river. Cross the river. Uh, let's get a cavalry charge or two in. Wow, he totally shut down that cavalry charge. There, now they're broken. Now the cavalry can come through and get a good charge against a unit in the open, which definitely gives them bonuses. Uh, you rest. Get the swordsman down here. My mage is kind of adventuring out alone, but I think the defense forces have kind of pulled north. You rest. You rest. Uh, this cavalry unit... Swing down here and finish him off for free. These guys come down here and put some damage on those cavalry, please. And you guys, likewise. He's down to five health, so I think the chariots will be able to finish it off. Yes, the chariots finished it off. But the eighth flying snakes are really, really good at this point. They not only have the magical sword, they've leveled up once and are about to level up a second time. So they've done, they've done good. Why can't you recruit? I want you to recruit. I think beasts might not be able to recruit during battle. Didn't know that. That will be a problem if that's true. Um, but let's get the archers down here. Both goblin archers versus the 15th longbowman. 10 missile, 13 missile. Youch. Just get over here where you can provide supporting fire. Okay. Let's end the turn. This is a much longer battle than any of the ones on the first map, as you can see. My lizard man resisted the spell. Got some supporting fire, but it didn't seem to help much. So, I've conquered that town. You can rest. Uh, no rest for you. Uh, will resting do you any good? Not really. No rest for you. No rest for the wicked. Uh over in that direction. Anything in the town? Yes, there are skeletons in the town. Okay, apprentices. Summon a banshee on them, please. They resisted. Skeletons are quite spell resistant, which is sad. Come on, move. Okay, you rest up. You rest up. Cavalry, get a nice charge on them. And then the heavy infantry hopefully can finish it off. Nope, not quite. We'll send in the chariot. There we go. Now we're going to move these guys south. You recruit back up. You need your, your three new members. I think they may have actually lost experience through the course of this battle. And you've all rested. You've all rested. Okay. We're close to where we need to be. But we're going to get fireballed a couple more times by Aelcar because Aelcar uh, hates us and hates fun and all good things and life, as you can see by all of the, you know, the skeletons and such. So did some damage there. Cavalry not good at attacking towns, so let's send in the infantry. There we go. That's some good damage. And finish them off. Okay, you come upon the priest of Handola, weeping at the foot of the goddess idol. Vowing to end the suffering of innocence, he sheds his meek demeanor and steps forward to join your army. Oh sweet, I got another hero unit. The priest of Handola. Melee 19, magical, and armor 16. That's pretty good. And what is his spell? Bless. All friendly adjacent units have better morale and are harder to hurt. Oh, that's so sweet. I love the priest of Handola. Um, go for it. Good, that was a good decision. I, I approve of what you just did there. Uh, you, Barbarian, I hate how touchy this thing is to scroll. That's the one downside I would say to this game, at least in the modern incarnations. Um, since I'm playing it on a DOS box window, it's very difficult to scroll and you cannot click and drag. It's not an option. Um, can you attack the archers? That's a really bad idea. I think that's a really bad idea. 
Yeah. No, just stay there. You come down here, you cross the river, cross the river, cross the river. Okay. One more turn and I think we'll get it. Ouch. It's a good thing those guys are volunteers. It's a really good thing I used the volunteers for this. Um, I gotta throw the cavalry in. I just gotta. I just have to. I don't have another option. I was really hoping to finish this off this turn, but I don't think I'll be able to. So you pull back. Can't get the apprentices across either. Um, or the centaurs quite. So it's going to be yet one more turn, unless... Oh sweet, they're disordered and there's only one health point left on them. But those, those goblin scouts down there are going to be a pain. Unless I can finish this off very, very rapidly. Chariots, please, please. Oh, you can't do anything. Chariots, you're useless to me. You're worthless. Yeah, he gets another fear off. Oh, crap. Okay, I only have four turns left. Come on, kill him. Come on, kill him. Okay, he's dead. Good. Yes, the enemy offers to surrender. Yes, I will accept that surrender. Thank you. Okay, I'm the victor. Imprisoned in the tower dungeons are a sergeant with his elf knights. They pledge their loyalty to you in gratitude. Seizing the tower's coffers, you find a stone of eagle eye and 150 gold. New cavalry available, so I can now have, recruit heavy cavalry. Um, and I can attack the Karovian Peninsula, Broken Fang Pass, or the Forest of the Weeping Mind. But I think we're probably going to wrap up before we do that. So I'm about to research Werebears, which are a very cool unit. I'm not really researching pikemen very quickly. Uh, I'm researching Auxilia in the Light Infantry Department. Scouts, Pistoliers in for Archers. I'm close to finishing Green Dragons, which are a mortal Sky Hunter unit. And I'm also researching Ballistae. Interesting. Uh, and Healers. Okay. Army-wise, so I got a Sergeant for free. I also have the Priest of Handola. A Sergeant has very high melee stats, but nothing else special about him. And can't upgrade. Uh, Barbarian, Swordsman... My lizard men, both of my lizard men have an experience point, as does one of my barbarians, making him very, very good, actually. Uh, the staff slinger is doing okay, archer is doing okay, no experience there. Both my fire beetles are good, my centaurs haven't gained anything. And I now have three volunteer units, I think? No, that says he has a magical item. I have two volunteers. I have the 18th volunteer centaurs and the 20th volunteer elf knights. Okay, so that is going to about do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, uh, and I will be happy to see you in the next one as we continue our conquest of the second continent of the uh, beleaguered world of air. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you back soon.